Before we leave you, we got to talk about what's good. They say you never forget how to jump on a bike or how to ride a bike, right? You just get back on. And today's What's Good, we're introducing you to an organization in Littleton, Colorado, giving help to those who are less mobile, like senior citizens and, and people with mobility issues. Check this out. Uh, some folks get to experience that feeling of having the wind in their hair again. Joining us right now, Barb Lotz, co-founder and CEO of Cycling Without Age Littleton. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, I love your enthusiasm and I love the images that we're seeing, the videos, because th the truth is some people can't just get on their own two wheels, uh, but Absolutely. they can get on a trishaw. So what's a trishaw, first off? So a trishaw, this started in 2012 by Ollie Kosak in uh, Copenhagen, and his whole view was how can we get people out in nature, socializing and having wind in their hair. And so we get these actually from Copenhagen. People say it's a rickshaw. It's not. A rickshaw has someone in the back. This is all about a passenger or passengers in the front so you can talk, so you can listen to stories, so they can see nature, and so they can really be alive and be the best versions of themselves. And so we, as pilots, get the opportunity to listen to stories, the shared wisdom, take people with challenges, take seniors, and just bring goodness. I really think in 2020, we saved lives because oh. so, many, so many people were stuck in their apartment or house and this got them out and, and again, one-on-one, -on -one, that mental health and physical. I love that. And I love what you're saying, Say, saving lives. There are a lot of people who are alone. They were isolated. They couldn't go out and move on their own. Is that what inspired you all to make sure that this program continues? Absolutely. We, I started volunteering late in Lakewood. Gary Hardy started that chapter. So this is around the world and the founder wants a chapter in every county, in every nation and in the world. And so we're just one of many hundreds of, uh, of chapters, they're called, Cycling Without Age. We just do it differently. Most of them are out of a skilled or an assisted living facility. Mm -hmm. But when I started this with some co-founders, we said, we need to invite the community in. So everybody, we house them at an independent living center, River Point, but anyone from the community is welcome. And it's not just seniors, it's anyone that wants wind in their hair and to enjoy nature. I love this. And, uh, Barb, I, I could talk to you for days. I know the importance of it. I can tell your passion. We only have a few seconds left. Can you just give us your website to find more information on the program? CWALittleton.com. All right, Barb, thank you. And hello to your little dog friend because he's very <laughs> excited that you're on TV. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.